Want to make clean zooms like these? Here's how. At first, put S underscore blurmo curves into the trash can. The problem with this effect is that it shows way too much motion tile, and you also don't have as much flexibility as if you use null objects. Now, after you did that, get your clips ready, pre-compose them, and enable motion blur. After that, create two null objects. Cut it to the length of your layer and link it like I do. For the remaining clips, I'll use auto nulls to make life easier. Search for motion tile and make the settings similar to mine. To transition into the clip, press S. While the first null object is selected, click on the clock, zoom a little bit in, move the keyframe to one frame before the clip ends, and zoom in at the start of the clip. For that, I use this graph. To transition out of the clip, go to the second layer. Set a keyframe approximately in the middle of the null object. Go to the end and zoom in. Here's the graph. With this principle, you can make zooms however you like. You can also make slides with it. So now I'll show you how to improve the transitions and how to fix common problems. For improvements, add an adjustment layer. Add CC lens and copy my settings and graph. For zoom outs, create another adjustment layer. Make it the length of the keyframes of the upper null object. Add warp and copy my settings. If there's one frame where you can see motion tile, create an adjustment layer, add any blur, and follow my keyframes. 